is Zach, and this is my physics honors project video. And for this project, I built a simple harmonic oscillator, which uses a pendulum to show the sinusoidal curve of simple harmonic motion. So this here is the simple harmonic oscillator that I built with which uses a pendulum motion instead of the usual spring motion. Uh, this is the pendulum. It takes paint on the inside and it has a steady stream as it pendulums across. I taped pennies around the bottom of the bottle to kind of make it easier to let go of. Because without the pennies, it kind of just shook all over the place. Um, with the handles, put some clamps on it to make it turn easier. And I'll talk more about what this is supposed to do in the theory portion of this video. So, simple harmonic motion is any motion where the restoring force is directly proportional to the negative of the displacement. Um, simple harmonic motion is usually shown with an oscillating spring, like here in this picture in this book. Uh, the spring oscillates back and forth the same distance. And as that's happening, this paper is moving and it's drawing a sinusoidal curve on there. This is basically what we are doing today, only instead of a spring, we are using a pendulum. So for a spring, simple harmonic motion is caught by, found using this this equation here, which is its displacement with respect to time. <laughs> what makes it simple harmonic motion is first law, which was the uh, force being negatively proportional. When we're using a pendulum, in order for it to follow Hooke's law, we need our displacement, which is L sine theta, you can see here in the diagram. We want the, the sine theta here to be equal to theta, well, as close, approximately equal. As sine theta approaches zero, well, as theta approaches zero, sine theta approaches zero, so as it gets smaller and smaller, the two become more and more equal in the spot where the book itself says that. Uh, that becomes simple harmonic motion is at less than 15 degrees. So once we have that, we can manipulate the normal uh, equation of pendulum motion and get this equation here, which is very similar to the spring simple harmonic motion. The only difference is that instead of displacement as a straight distance it is angular displacement
is the end results of the pendulum experiment. You see here the uh, sinusoidal wave caused by the simple harmonic motion.